othello the moor of venice this is a tragedy of passion and it is a very intimate tragedy because here there are no supernatural elements like in macbeth no madness like in king lear no kingdoms are at stake the political consequences of the action is not highlighted what happens in othello othello is a trusted general in the venetian army his on sign or flag bearer iago is angry with him because othello has chosen cassio as his lieutenant over iago meanwhile othello has secretly married the beautiful and virtuous white woman desdemona leading to the anger of desdemona's father brabantio at this time there is the turkish attack on cyprus the venetian army goes to cyprus all the characters are now in cyprus here iago works on othello's insecurities and weaknesses and convinces othello to dismiss cassio desdemona appeals for cassio to othello and later she drops a handkerchief the first token of othello's love for her and this handkerchief comes into the possession of cassio and then his mistress bianca all orchestrated by iago himself the irony is that iago is honest iago for othello othello never suspects the evil that lurks in iago so othello is now suspicious and convinced of desdemona's infidelity to prevent her from any more wrong doing it so ends up that othello strangles her in bed we have ourselves seen desdemona's beauty and innocence just before this strangling in the willow scene after desdemona is killed othello othello comes to know from iago's wife emilia that desdemona was innocent guilt stricken othello kills himself and iago is condemned to torture and prison the characterization of iago is a masterpiece he is a an amazing villain motiveless malignity as coleridge described him the most important theme of this play is of course jealous mistrust and it is based on racial inequalities the mercantile society of venice is creating villains like iago iago's evil callousness cruelty are all characteristics of an indifferent mercantile society iago and desdemona are like two sides of othello's conscience iago is the devil the very incarnation of the devil while desdemona is the true representation of christian love and then king lear the central issue in king lear is how to resolve the conflict between human dignity and human failure this is a very dramatic play with so many elements of cruelty pride power madness betrayal and death coming together king lear is a british king he wants to share his kingdom with his three daughters goneril regan and cordelia he wants his daughters to tell him how much they love him goneril and regan very hypocritically state their love cordelia is very matter of fact she does not 
please the king. King angrily divides the kingdom between his two daughters, Goneril, the wife of Albany, and Regan, the wife of the Duke of Cornwall. Cordelia is married by the king of France without a dowry. The king visits his two eldest daughters and meets with insult there. And the trauma leads to his going mad. At Dover, in the famous storm scene, he meets the Duke of Gloucester. The Duke of Gloucester and King Lear are similar. Both are foolish fathers. The Duke of Gloucester did not understand his son Edgar and he foolishly trusted his illegitimate son Edmund, who is a villain. Edgar, disguised as Tom O'Bedlam, takes care of Gloucester. Gloucester is blinded by his own illegitimate son Edmund. Blind Gloucester and mad Lear meet at Dover. At this time, the French army led by Cordelia is advancing and the French army is sadly defeated. Cordelia is hanged upon the orders of Edmund and at the end of the play, Lear, having learned his lessons and gone completely mad, brings his beloved daughter Cordelia's corpse onto the stage asserting that she cannot be dead. This is a heart-rending tragedy about human failure. And this is a play with deep religious overtones. Cordelia is a Christ-like figure and her death is like crucifixion. This tragedy of King Lear is represented as if it is God's will the result of human action and forgiveness, the Christian value of forgiveness or mercy is highlighted as an important theme. There are also political themes in the play. The duties of a king is a very important point of discussion. And the last play by last great tragedy by Shakespeare is Macbeth. Macbeth is a completely different play, a completely different background. Scotland is stormed by rebellion and there is violence and storm. This is the last of Shakespeare's great tragedies and it has the most mature style. Macbeth and Banquo are quelling the rebellions and they are coming back to King Duncan. Remember this play was performed before James I who thought that he is a descendant of Banquo. On the way back, Macbeth and Banquo meet the three witches. They prophesy that Macbeth who is now glamorous will soon be Thane of Cawdor and King of Scotland and Banco's sons will be kings. Macbeth believes this prophecy. When King Duncan visits him at the castle of Inverness, Lady Macbeth prompts him to kill Duncan. Duncan's sons, Malcolm and Donald Bain, they are suspected to be the murderers. They run away. Macbeth is now king of Scotland and he starts an orgy of killings and destruction. He kills Banco but his son escapes. He kills Lady Macduff and her children and he starts seeing Banco's ghost. At this time, tortured by her own conscience, Lady Macbeth walks in her sleep with a taper and dies. The three witches had again prophesied that Macbeth will be killed only by a man who is not born of a woman. No man born of a woman would be able to 
kill Macbeth. And he will die only when the Burnham forest will come to the Dunsinane castle. Macbeth thinks he is invincible. But this happens. Towards the end of the play, we see Macbeth plagued by fear and guilt. He is not the confident murderer that he was before. He changes. Even at the beginning, he was not so confident. He was always aware of the consequences of his action. That is why he is a hero. And he dies at the hand of Macduff, who was ribbed untimely from his mother's womb. And the soldiers of Malcolm march towards Dunsinane with the branches of the trees of Birnam Forest. The witches prophecy is fulfilled. Macbeth is a play that is full of darkness and guilt representing the depths of the human psyche. It is a fast-paced tragedy. You see the soul rushing towards its inevitable doom. It is a play that analyzes evil, political ambition and the impact of supernatural powers on human life. The character Macbeth is a deep character. The ambiguities of his character, the unique combination of bravery, ambition and self-doubt makes him a great tragic hero. Lady Macbeth is a representation of the weakness of human nature. She is also a deeply drawn character. If you have seen the Throne of Blood, the movie made by Akira Kurosawa, you will get a completely new interpretation of Macbeth. Do watch it. Please read these plays, read about them, enjoy them, experience them and wait for the next video. Until then, bye bye.